I feel like it's been forever since the last time I recorded. I lost count of how many days we've been in quarantine. I still haven't been able to get a haircut. But anyway, at least we have something very positive in this video, and that's this keyboard. It's the Red Dragon Draconic K530 60% keyboard. We're gonna check it out in this video. I just want to say at the moment this keyboard is $70 on the Red Dragon shop, Red Dragon website, you can check it out at the link below. If you use code NERDISH, uh, you'll get 10% off your purchase. So what is this keyboard? It's a 60% keyboard, which means it's very small, it doesn't have the, the number pad, doesn't even have those keys on the side like the arrow keys. It's basically just your main chunk of the keyboard with the enter button right at the end there. Just look at it, it's really small, it's really lightweight. It'll fit in in virtually any desk, it'll even go on your lap if you want to lay back and play like that. Out of the box it comes with a USB Type-C cable, it is wireless, but you could also use it wired, uh, or you could just use that cable to charge it. The keyboard itself, and a few key switches for demonstration, you could replace one of the current brown switches. It also comes with two keycap removal tools, very helpful. So some of the features for this keyboard is the option to use it wired or wirelessly. While gaming, I tend to use it wired, just because I don't want to risk any type of lag. I haven't experienced any lag, but, you know, with Bluetooth and stuff, anything can happen. It does have a rechargeable battery, which is a huge positive. I really hate, you know, those AAA batteries, AA, whatever. Uh, it's rechargeable, which is perfect. You could pair it with three devices. Now, keep in mind that it uses Bluetooth, and it doesn't come with a dongle. So if your device, uh, say my computer back here, it doesn't have Bluetooth capability, I have to buy a separate dongle. I got it on Amazon, maybe $10, uh, and you have to pair that with this keyboard, and then you could use it wirelessly. Now, on devices like my laptop that does have Bluetooth capability, you just turn on the laptop, go to your Bluetooth settings, and it should pop up right away very easy to pair. Now this isn't really a feature but just this option itself is great. Now I have the white model here it also comes in black. I have to say that with keyboards like this one keyboards in general it's really hard to find them in white. Now the main color is black or maybe some sort of dark gray but it's really difficult to get them in black and white. Some companies don't even make the models in white. Now this one you, once again you get the model in white and black you choose i chose the white one because the colors reflect off of it better colors and white surfaces just makes everything more vibrant so i went with the white version and also my desk is white my computer's white my monitor's white everything's gonna look much better and indeed the lighting does look incredible now you have quite a few options here you can go with the nine or ten pre-configured color modes all you have to do is press the function 2 button and uh, press the number 9 and it'll swap between the modes here or you could go on to the red dragon software you could download it uh, i'll leave a link down below as well and you could customize the lighting there you could have it to whatever color you want a static color turn it off do really whatever you want with it either way it's going to look very good I do want to note though, on camera, I don't know if it's going to show this in the video, but whenever I try to record the lights, they're all flickering and stuff. They don't look like that in person. They're solid, they're vibrant, everything's perfect in person, but on camera, you know, with the lens and all that, everything, I don't know, all the lighting could just get screwed up. I'm trying to show you guys the lighting, but just keep in mind that it might not look too good on camera. Now, Bluetooth 5.0 is on board, so connectivity issues should be non-existent. Everything should be perfectly fine with excellent connection. And one of my favorite things about it, it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Now I couldn't really find any, you know, predicted battery life times or anything like that. You know, how long it's gonna last. Uh, I did hear that it takes about 10 hours to charge from zero to 100. I haven't really tested that because my, it actually has not run out of battery. I use it wired part of the time, not to charge it, but just because I feel more comfortable with it wired. Even though, I mean, wireless, it hasn't had any issues with it. I've been using it with my laptop wirelessly the entire time, homework, work, everything. Um, and battery has gone the lowest was 50% and that was after using it for a whole week So the battery life is really good. It's one of my favorite things about this keyboard I would say this keyboard is perfect for minimalist setups or if your desk is really small and you really You know want to maximize the amount of space you have this keyboard fits really anywhere You could even put it in your backpack and take it to school use it with your laptop and stuff If you don't if your laptop keyboard is broken or it doesn't work Maybe you don't like it uh, you could go ahead and take this to school along with the wireless feature it's perfect. Now I've had it for a few weeks now and ever since I got it, I've been really trying to look out for that little piece of lag or anything when it's wireless. I've been playing games like GTA, playing uh, Battlefield, stuff like that. Things that where if it lags, you will notice right away. GTA with the driving and the movement, 
Battlefield, once again with the movement, if it lags, you'll notice it. And I'm happy to report that there's been no lag whatsoever. Not that I've noticed, I've been typing with it as well. You'll notice the lag right away, haven't noticed a single thing. So would I recommend this keyboard? Absolutely. $70? It's actually, I mean, if you think about it, there's keyboards like the Razer Black Widow X Chroma, uh, like the one I have, the tur tournament edition, the previous one I had. This is actually replacing that. That one was about $110, $120 when I bought it. There are newer versions that cost around the same price. This one's only $70. It's smaller. I mean, in my opinion, it looks better. Lighting is vibrant. Bluetooth 5.0, wireless or wired, you, you pick. And I actually made this my main keyboard because it's a little bit quieter. Now, one of the reasons why I bought the other one was because it's really loud and the clicky is very satisfying. But after a while, if you're playing in the middle of the night, it gets a little too loud. This one's perfect. It's not, not too loud, it's still satisfying to click, still sounds good, but it's not gonna wake anyone up. On top of that, once again, Bluetooth, but you could switch between devices, up to three devices. If you want to use it with your main computer, maybe you have a laptop on the side, you could switch between the two. It's very easy. So yes, I would recommend it. And once again, use code NERDISH for 10% off your purchase. So that's going to be it for the video. Please, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, a comment down below. Comment down below, once again, if you have any questions or anything like that, comments, concerns, um, and I'll try my best to respond to them. And subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers. I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.